up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Thus far, it has been an eventful week as far as sneakers, as far as news. Shout out to everybody who got exclusive access on the Air Jordan 4s. Shout out to those who got exclusive access on the Unions as well. I want the Unions, but the good thing about the Unions is that I see that price starting to go down. Now, this is just the Union raffle and the price is going down. I'm sure they're going to have another small drop for the deserts, probably on sneakers, I'm hoping. But if not, the price is going down. So if anybody got either one of the unions, the new joints in a size 11 or 11 and a half, make sure you hit me up on Trade Block. Throw them joints on Trade Block, man. Hit me up in a DM. Tell me what you're looking for. I throw the shoe on Trade Block. I definitely want them unions, man. I definitely, definitely want them. But, man, Army, I feel like the news is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and i almost feel like as far as resellers go i feel like y'all know how you got that wall y'all see the movies when the wall is just slowly starting to close in on you and you looking around and you don't know what to do and you can't go up you can't go down you can't go left you can't go right and literally it's just like eventually it's just gonna smash and it's just gonna be over right that's how i feel like a lot of these companies are doing with resellers. A lot of these companies are trying to eliminate resellers. And for the most part, I feel like they are doing okay. I feel like an attempt is okay. I'd rather them attempt than not do anything at all. Now, here's the thing right here. I still feel like in order for them to successfully get the stuff done, they need to start with themselves. For instance, when there was a dunk release a couple weeks ago, I actually had one of the employees, they looked at me and they were like, you a reseller? I'm like, I dibble and dabble. You know, she was like, well, I got a size seven in these dunks. I'm looking to sell them. At the cash register, cash register. She was like, I just picked up my pair from here. I'm trying to sell these. You got to start from home, y'all. Got to start from the inside, right? Because you're not going to be able to fix a problem if you are hiring resellers. That's one thing. Either way it go, I don't care. It's not going to stop. Here's the juiciness of today's video. Now, this information is a rumor. And I got information from a member of the Army. He sent me this information. And what I decided to do, I decided to send it out to some of the store managers that I know and just to see if they can verify the information. Now, before we even get to that meat and potatoes, it's another appetizer that we need to go ahead and talk about right quick. And that's this Nike Dunk UNC that dropped yesterday. I picked up my pairs that I hit on the Flex app. Thank God I did hit a couple pairs, threw them in a the stash. Now, with that being said, I had a couple people hitting me up saying, man, break, I think Flex app is changing the algorithm. Those who had six, seven, eight million points, they didn't hit anything. Now, I'm not sure if Foot Locker is looking at the activity of how these people are actually shopping because you can tell, like Finish Line did. Finish Line was booting people off because they seen that they were buying multiple Yeezys or they were buying multiple of this shoe. Finish Line said, your account is for you. You can't spend your account on anybody else, which is blasphemy. You can do whatever you want if you're spending your own money. I think Foot Locker Flex app is starting to do the same thing because if they see just activity 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 no normal consumer is gonna have that much activity only resellers is gonna have that extensive amount of activity on their flex account especially when it comes to all these different sizes if it's just all size 11 that you're going for maybe hey i'm just putting my eggs in different baskets trying to get my size so they look like on foot locker app you went for a size 8 on champs app you went for a size 10 on foot action app you went for a size 13 like that does not match up so they're probably looking at that and starting to X out some of these big accounts. Now, that's just word on the street that Flex App is slowly starting to X out some of these major accounts that got 10 million plus points. Because I hit about 80% on the Flex App. So for those to have 17 million points, bruh, that's crazy. But let's get back to the meat and potatoes. Army, I was sent this particular message and like I said, I wind up sending it to a lot of the store managers or just employees that I know that work at Foot Locker. Now, today is actually the Friday that they are talking about in this message. Now, if it does not happen today, maybe it's going to happen next week. Something tell me that this may not be too far-fetched and that this could potentially happen. So let's go ahead and read it. So the guy, he showed his kicks of the day 
And he said, this is a summary from an internal Foot Locker corporate email. All right, again, Army, this was sent to me from a member of the Army on Instagram. It says, the available points for all Flex members will reset this coming Friday, which is today. Lifetime points will not change and have no effect on winning. All right, again, lifetime points will not change and have no effect on winning. So what they're trying to say is that your lifetime points that you have basically don't have any effect on winning, which I don't I don't think that that possibly could be true. And the reason why I kind of question that is because if the lifetime points does not affect winning, why do you still keep the lifetime points? Like, we don't want to just look at it just to look at it. We want to know, hey, I got 5 million points, and this 5 million points is going to give me this shoe next week. All right? And then it said, any unused points will be gone forever, and head starts will be one instead of four. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch, but it has been a couple releases that they only did one, or they only did two, and then they changed it back to four. I don't know if y'all peeped that, but I peeped that a couple times. Also, I still got all my points. So let me read that again. Any unused points will be gone forever and head starts will be one instead of four for two months for people to start getting more points back. Okay, so basically what they're saying is that for the next two months, they are going to make the head start one instead of four. So that way, once you're buying, you're not using up all your points going towards head starts because if they start you all over, you're going to run out of them points very, very fast trying to lower the amount of resellers that continue to reserve all sizes because of the volume they purchase one other thing they put in place is if a customer has more than a specific amount of money spent within a time period they will be kept from winning until 30 day period has passed the email did not give an amount so basically what they're saying is that if they see someone who just spent seven thousand dollars in one day and then next two, three days, they spent another eight thousand. Oh, bro, that's a red flag. Who's spending fifteen thousand dollars on shoes in one week? It's possible, but as an average consumer, who's doing it? And I think that's what they're gonna start looking at. They're gonna start looking at an average consumer, right? If an average consumer probably spends, let's say, a thousand dollars a week, but you're spending sixteen thousand dollars in a week, that may be a red flag. Now, again, Army, this is all rumor i just want y'all to continue to hear me say that those workers that i did hit up none of them 100 confirmed but most of them said that don't sound like something that they would not do and then another one said that does sound like something that they will do a couple of them said bro i have no clue some of them said i ain't heard about this yet so right now it's like i don't want to say it's 50 50 but some again are saying that this is something that could possibly happen and it does not sound far-fetched and some just said, hey, bro, I haven't heard of it just yet. And then he ended up by saying, apparently it's a bot that allows accounts to glitch to show that they have millions of points when they really don't. So after reading that, Army, it's a lot in that message to decode. Basically, what I kind of figured, see, and the thing is, I feel like, again, it's not too far-fetched for this to be true because before they transitioned over to this Flex FLX points, Every so often, they would restart your points if you were using your accounts. Again, let me take y'all back a few years ago when we were going into the store and doing the head starts and you had to connect to the beacons. Or if you was connected, you would text the person working, hey bro, what's the code for the store? You put the code in, boom, you get your 10 minute hit. Man, those were the days, I ain't gonna lie. Those were the days, bro. Those were the days when you weren't worried about how many flex points you had. All you have to worry about was who was going to send out that four-digit code so that you can go ahead and put your joint in, man. Like, those were the days, I mean, I promise you I missed it. But even back then, your account was resetted. All your accounts, Full Lock and Foot Action Champ, they were reset. So that's what makes me feel like this could be true. I check my account and my points, and as of right now, I'm still good. So, Army, if anybody has seen anything going wrong with their account, if y'all have seen, you know, y'all head starts go from four to one, let us know in the comment section below. Let me also know if y'all have heard this from elsewhere. Contact some of your people who work at, you know, a Foot Locker Foot Action Champs. Let us know if this stuff is actually going on, if this is actually happening. Because again, Army, I feel like this right here is a major, major, major game changer. This could change how a lot of people get shoes because we already take L's on sneakers. And if they reset everything on flex, I feel like it gives everybody a fair chance 
But you also got to remember, when everything is leveled and back at zero, you still got to compete because the resellers are still going to be able to get them accounts back going. So it's going to be a temporary bump in the road for the resellers, but I honestly don't think that it's going to be the end of the road because they still, all they got to do is just go back in the store and just buy, but they're going to have to switch up how they actually start buying shoes. I don't think that they're going to be able to go crazy and be buying thousands and thousands because I feel like they're going to get their account messed up. So, um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. That's wild news. I feel like a lot of people are excited about it. So, let me know if you're excited about it. Let me know if you're like, man, bro, they should just leave everything alone. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. And like the merch says, hug your loved ones. And we out.